Dear students, please note down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in today's lecture, I will discuss venous system of rat, ratus, ratus. Dear students, please note down. BSC students, in our last lecture, we have discussed arterial system of rat. And in today's lecture, I will clear venous system of rat. Dear students, this entire system is divided into four parts. First part is that is system of vena cava. Second part is that is hepatic portal system. And third one is that is coronary system. And fourth part is pulmonary system. Dear students, first of all, I will discuss system of vena cava. In this system of vena cava, three large veins. One is right pre-cable, second is left pre-cable, and this third one is, it is posterior vena cava or post cava. It means in this system of vena cava, three large blood vessels which collect deoxygenated blood from anterior parts of body through two blood vessels these are pre cables anterior right and left pre cables and from the posterior parts of body the deoxygenated blood is collected via this large blood vessel it is post cable or it is posterior vena cava dear students this right pre cable and this right pre cable which brings deoxygenated blood from head region, from forelimbs, as well as thoracic region through six large blood vessels. First one is it is right internal jugular vein, and this right internal jugular vein that collects blood from anterior part of head like brain and neck region this external jugular vein this right external jugular that brings blood from exterior parts of head region as well as neck region this third blood vessel this is subclavian vein this right subclavian subclavian vein that brings blood from forelimbs of body this fourth blood vessel it is right mammary vein as name indicates right mammary vein that brings blood from right sides of mammary glands next one is that is right intercostal vein dear students right intercostal that brings blood from the intercostal muscles the anterior parts of intercostal muscles of ribs and the sixth one is that is right phrenic vein and this right phrenic vein that brings blood from the diaphragm. Dear students, this left pre cable and this left pre cable is similar to that of right pre cable, except here in this left side, one additional blood vessel and this one is seventh blood vessel, it is left agigous vein. And this left agigous vein that brings blood from the posterior parts of intercostal muscles of ribs. It means this left pre cable, it is formed by the union of seven veins. This one is left internal jugular, it receives blood from internal parts of head region. This left external jugular that collects blood from the exterior parts of external parts of head region third one is left subclavian that brings blood from left side of forelimbs fourth one is left mammary vein and this mammary vein brings deoxygenated blood from left side of mammary glands this one is fifth blood vessel it is left intercostal vein Dear students, this left intercostal that brings blood from 
anterior parts of intercostal muscles of ribs and the sixth blood vessel that is left phrenic vein that brings blood from this partition that is diaphragm and this additional one extra blood vessel in this left side that is seventh this one is left ejigus and this left ejigus this vein brings blood from posterior intercostal muscles of ribs dear students this third vena cava it is post cava it is posterior vena cava that brings blood from all over the lower parts of body via this caudal vein and this caudal vein it brings blood from tail region these are a pair of common iliac and each common iliac is formed by the union of two blood vessels one is internal iliac this is internal iliac and this one is external iliac and this external iliac further receives two blood vessels one is femoral and that femoral vein it brings blood from hind limbs and this second blood vessel it is vesicouterine and this vesicouterine vein it receives blood from vesicle means urinary bladder and uterine part of female reproductive system then a pair of left and right iliolumbar veins these a pair of iliolumbar veins which brings deoxygenated blood from abdominal wall dear students then a pair of genital veins and the genital veins which collects blood these genital veins which bring blood from the genital regions the reproductive parts the gonads next a pair of renal veins these blood vessels bring blood from kidneys and this one is it is hepatic vein and this hepatic vein that brings deoxygenated blood from liver the second system is that is hepatic portal system and dear students this hepatic portal system that brings deoxygenated blood from all over the alimentary canal from the digestive tract like stomach intestine rectum through gastric vein that brings blood from stomach splenic or lanic it brings blood from spleen dear students both gastric and splenic collectively constitute lenogastric vein this lenogastric vein that brings blood from stomach and spleen then this posterior mesenteric and this posterior mesenteric which collects blood from the lower the posterior parts of intestine like rectum this anterior mesenteric and this anterior mesenteric that brings blood from the upper parts of intestine upper parts of alimentary canal like ileum colon rectum and this duodenal that blood vessel brings deoxygenated blood from duodenum and pancreas all these blood vessels lenogastric posterior mesenteric anterior mesenteric and duodenal they unite to produce hepatic portal system it means in this hepatic portal system the deoxygenated blood from all over the alimentary canal first goes to liver and from this liver this blood vessel hepatic vein that carries the blood to heart via this posterior vena cava or post cava third system is it is coronary system 
Dear students, coronary system. In this coronary system, deoxygenated blood from heart that is collected by via several coronary veins. And these coronary, coronary veins which collect blood from all over the heart region, the wall of heart, unite to produce a coronary sinus. And this coronary sinus opens here in this right atrium. And the last, that is pulmonary system. In this pulmonary system, that is exceptional. Because in this venous system, all veins bring deoxygenated blood. But in this pulmonary system, oxygenated blood. These are the exceptional veins which bring oxygenated blood from both lungs via right and left pulmonary veins which unite to produce a common pulmonary and that opens here in left atrium. This is all about venous system of rat ratus ratus. Dear students, this entire system is divided into four parts. One is vena cava system. In this vena cava system, three large veins. This one is right pre caval or right vena cava. This, this one is, it is left vena cava or left pre -caval. And this large blood vessel, this one is posterior vena cava or post -caval. In this hepatic system, blood from all over the elementary canal first goes to liver, then to heart through this hepatic vein. And in this hepatic portal system, several veins like lenogastric that brings blood from stomach via this gastric vein from spleen to this splenic vein this posterior mesenteric that brings blood from posterior parts of rectum and this anterior mesenteric that brings blood from ileum colon cecum upper parts of rectum and this duodenal vein that brings blood from duodenum and pancreas. Dear students, this coronary system. In this coronary system, the deoxygenated blood from all over the heart, heart wall that is collected by coronary veins and the coronary veins unite to produce a large coronary sinus and that coronary sinus opens here in this right atrium and the last system that is pulmonary system here oxygenated blood from both lungs right and left collected via these right and left pulmonary veins which unite to produce a common pulmonary vein that opens here in left atrium this is all about venous system 